Miss Rash here. I just want to show you to your new classroom. So I'm going to start teaching you guys from this station. So every day we'll be doing our work together and doing it from here. So I first want to say how much I missed you guys so much. I am dropping materials off to you guys so you'll be having work to do and Lee will be able to see some of the work that I'm doing for you and we can feel connected. So keep doing your best and working hard. I know it's different doing school from home, but we got this. So I just want to show you your classroom first. As you can see, we have our calendar here. So we'll be doing calendar time together every day here and then also we have our board so we can be working on our math numbers and math journals together and then also working on other things together i'm going to be always showing you your work because i know that some of you get nervous when i say to do all this and we'll be doing it together and then that way if you ever feel nervous you can come back to the video watch it again get yourself ready get some focus power and get out there and go do it but number one as I want to show you, um, and we'll be starting every day in prayer, and I wanted to show you that I brought Mary home off of our table, um, and she is here with us, so we'll be saying prayer every day together. And then also, if you've noticed, I have the picture of you guys that you gave me for my birthday, and I also have it our, our bucket. So we are still bucket fillers. And we need to continue to be that. That's part of our journey um, of doing what Jesus needs us to do here. And so anytime that you are doing good deeds or doing things at home or getting recognized for either working hard or being really kind, being that kindness ninja that we talk about all the time, I want you to ask your mom or dad to email me that. Because every time that you do, I'm going to put a cube in the bucket. If you remember, we emptied our bucket right before we left school. And we're just starting to fill it again. And I'm going to do some shout outs right now for a couple of our friends for being bucket fillers. So first of all, I'm doing one for all of you guys for working hard and being home at school and doing your best. So well done. I'm also going to do one for Ethan, who had some challenges getting some of his work done at first. And told his mom that and his mom helped him and they problem solved and he got his work done. So way to go, Ethan. And this shout out is to Titan. I'm putting a cube in the bucket for Titan. Um, I want to remind you, I gave you a challenge last week to ask your parents if you could do a job, earn a coin for the rice bowl. Well, Titan really felt like he needed to do a little bit more and went up and got his piggy bank and asked his mom if he could put a lot of his piggy bank into the rice bowl for the poor. Now I'm not asking you guys all to put your piggy bank money in there, but I just wanted to recognize Titan for doing that because he started to think about others before himself. So well done Titan. And that's just a great role model for all of us. So cue in the bucket for you. There you go. So as you are doing kind things, you guys, please let me know. I do have some kindness ninja homework for you guys coming up today. So I'll be explaining that a little bit later. So if you guys show me that work or have your parents tell me about it, I will put a cube in the bucket for each one of you. But that's to come. So as always, we start our day in prayer. So I'm going to be looking at Mary. And let's go ahead and do that together. We're still working on the sign of the cross and slowing down and making sure we're being very precise. So here we go, friends. Ready? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will be working on the Hail Mary coming up soon. That's in April. So that will be our next prayer. So keep working on your Angel of God one until we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with calendar. And I just want to point out to you that what month is it? M -m 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 -mar March. It is still March. Guess what? Not for long. I'm going to read you today's date. 
Today is March 30th, 2020. There's only 31 days in March. So tomorrow will be the very last day of March, and then we go on to April. We'll be at a new month. Days of the week. Before I even start, I always challenge you, how many days are in a week? Go ahead and tell me. And if we don't know, we do research. Here we go. Two, three, four, seven. Seven days in a week. If you did that, thumbs up. Now you're going to tell me what the days of the week are. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yesterday was Sunday, and now today is M -M Monday. If you did not know what day was Monday, you would listen to that sound, mm, mm, looking at the first letter, and know Monday, and be able to pick it out. Different strategies. So I did weather today, and I don't know about you guys, but last night I heard wind. I'll show you what I heard. I heard wind, I heard rain, then I saw some sun today, then I saw some more rain and felt a whole bunch of wind. So I feel like we have had every type of weather that we would always expect in this season. And this season is spring. We talked about that. So lots of different weather going on. I'm gonna show you our number for today. Here you go. It is the number 16. First, I'm going to ask you, how do you make a 16? What two numbers make a 16? I'll show you. A 1 and a 6. 16. So everyone get up your little fingers. We're going to make 16 up in the air like we always do. You ready? Magic fingers are out. Here we are starting at the top. Start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one. And over here for our six, around with a loop, number six rolls a hoop. A one, ooh, I erased it. And a six. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have to count out, as we always do. And we are working in what? 10 frames. Now we already know that 16 is bigger than 10. And this is a 10 frame, so there's only 10 spots. And we could double check our work if we were not sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, 16 is bigger than 10, so we need two 10 frames. And we're going to put our first 10 frame in blue. Count with me. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, hope you're not going too fast. I'm going slow on purpose to make sure you're being precise. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, this is where it's kind of fun. We get to switch this to what Miss Rash calls a number sentence. So right away, how many blue ones are there? We already know, right? There are 10. So I'm going to write the 10 right here. 10. Oh my goodness, not a good 10, Miss Rash. 10 blue ones, 1 and a 0, plus how many red ones did we have again? If we don't, if we don't remember, you count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we know that that equals our magic number for today, the target number, 16. So 10 plus 6 equals 16. Nice job. Okie dokie. So we are going to go ahead 
and move on to our letter sounds. I'm going to review these with you really quickly. I'm going to come up a little bit closer so you guys can see them really well. And remember, you're my echo. So as soon as I put them up, you're going to give, I'll give you a second and you do the sound. Ready? Here we go. M, mm. U, uh. C, K. B, B. T, T. J, J. K, K. Y, Y. D, D. G, G. N, N. S, S. L, O. H. I just realized those were in front of my face. I'm sorry. R, R. Q, Qua. O, ah. I, I. A, A. P, P. F, F. V, V. E, F. W, W, Z, Z, my favorite, X, X, good job. So remember, this is your ticket to reading. Now I've told some of you that we're working on those lowercase letters and I'm going to review some of it. So when I'm doing these flashcards though, for the ones that are, you are focusing on both the uppercase, whoops, let me grab this one to show you both the uppercase and the lowercase. Well, in this case, it's easy because the letter X's look the same, but that's not always the case. So for example, if you look at the letter E, they're so different. So you gotta start memorizing what the uppercase E looks like and the lowercase E. That's your next step. That's what we'll be working on as our next big goal in getting ready for kindergarten. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you and do a little bit of reviewing. Um, as you remember, last week I had you in math do a little bit of um, measurement, and that's kind of a new thing that we're going to be going on. The type of measurement I had you do was put raindrops, if you remember, from tallest to shortest. And there was four different things that you had to work with. Miss Rash is just going to review a little bit. I think you guys really know this, but I just want to show you a little bit again. So here I have a worm, and this is a very tall worm if I compare him to this worm. Whoops, can you see? There we go. So a very tall worm. And then we have this worm that's shorter. So tallest and shortest, right? Well... Hold on, I got this guy, this guy right here. So now I have three different sizes, right? I have the orange one, which is the tallest. Then, can you guys see that guy? Then I have the yellow one in the middle. He's shorter than the orange one, but he's still a little taller than the green one. And the green one is the shortest. So here we go again, tallest, shorter, shortest. There we go. I just wanted to review and make sure that you understood some of those new, what I call math words. Um, so there are a couple different things that we're going to be doing today. I want to show you how to be using some of the work that I'm going to be giving you at home and what to be expecting. So um, every Monday, and I'm going to be sending this to your parents, you're going to be getting a weather chart. If you see, there is a information on the top that tells you about different types of weather. You can tell by the pictures what they are, right? So we see that there's a sun, cloudy, partly cloudy, rainy, or stormy. And if you notice down below, we have different boxes. 
Well, on the top of each one of these boxes, there's one letter. M, 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 Monday, T, 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 Tuesday, that T is for Tuesday. W is for W, W, Wednesday. The TH is for Th, Th, Thursday. And the F is for Friday. So every day, you are going to be documenting the weather. So when we're doing the weather chart, and you see Miss Rash do it, if you have your paper right next to you when you're watching the video and we're doing calendar together, I'll stop for a moment and you can document your weather. And we can do it together. Another thing you're gonna be getting as we're getting ready for kindergarten and you knew we, we did this in school every single day, we are gonna be signing in. I'm gonna show you your new sign-in sheet. It's gonna look like this. And on the top, that's what it says, weekly sign-in sheet. Here we go again. These are the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This one looks a little bit different than the one you were using at school because it's a little more grown up and you are ready for it. We are working on being precise. We are working on staying on the lines, making sure our letters are not too big where they don't fit. So I really want us to work on letters being a little bit smaller and more precise. I'm gonna show you right now what I expect. I'll put it on the board so you can see. Here's the weekly sign-in sheet. I'm looking at Monday. Uh-oh, Miss Rash, did you not bring a pencil? I am going to sign in and crayon today, but please do not sign in and crayon at home. So here we go for Monday, I'm doing this rash. Now I'm just gonna show you the size of the letters that I want you to make. M, S, do you see how my letters are the same size? R, A, S, H. This rash. I'm gonna come show you, because it's hard to see a little bit from back there. Now. All my letters are about the same size. I'm not off the line. I did my best, okay? If you have a really long name, Titiana, your name's kind of long, you can start from over here and start going this way. But I really would like us to try to make our letters smaller and get on the line. That is our goal um, and being very, very precise. Another thing I'm gonna start giving you at home is surveys. You're gonna get one once a week to be going and doing research about um, what people like and what they don't like. And then I also want you to find out why. So your last one was, do you like the rain? And I wanted you to ask people why they like the rain. I had a friend ask me and I told them I did like the rain. I thought it was very helpful and that we needed it. It helps plants grow. And it's kind of fun to jump in puddles sometimes. But I also said if it was raining too much, I wouldn't want to go outside. So that was my answer. So you'll be scientists getting research information about different things. So those two things will be going home with you. Here's the next new thing that I'm going to be having you do. So good job on your handwriting books. You guys are going to continue these handwriting books kind of at the places where you're at. So we're kind of, some of us are on different letters. Um, because we were sick and some of us didn't get caught up before we left and things like that. But every morning from now on, I want you, as we're learning our lowercase letters, to go to this page in your handwriting book. You'll be on page 72 and 73. So when we do our alphabet in the morning, when you are part of your homework, we'll be to do your alphabet. And I want you to be pointing to the lowercase letters, not the uppercase letters anymore, lowercase. We are working on lowercase letters. We are getting ready for kindergarten. So here's how it would look. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, I am not going too fast because there is no way that I'd be able to sing and point to the letters and do it correctly if I go too fast. I was on P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
Y, and Z. There you go. And if you really want to have fun, this is what I was having other, is you could close your eyes, put your finger down, point to a letter, it's the letter L. Think of a word that begins with L. I already see one right there. It's a L lizard. So that's another fun way to work on some of your sounds. We'll do that some more. But every day, I want us looking at our lowercase letters and singing the alphabet. We'll be doing that as part of our daily homework, as long as that daily sign-in and that daily weather chart. Those should be fun for the, you, though. Okay, so we can't do name game anymore right now because I'm not really with you guys, and it's not really fun to play name game when it's just Miss Rash. I miss you guys. But what we're going to start doing is doing a new thing, getting us ready to be more grown up, is called vocabulary. So I'm going to be holding up three new pictures, and I'm going to be reviewing these throughout this week, and then I'll do three more next week. So our new pictures for this week, and this is the first one, and I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. And does anyone go ahead and shout it out? If you know what this guy is doing or, or what this is, can you see everything? There you go. So this is a carpenter. A carpenter is somebody who works with um, wood. And if you can see, he has a tool belt over here. Whoops. Come on, Mr. Ash. Sorry, guys. I'm learning. Um, here's his tool belt. He is working on some wood. It looks like he's building something. Carpenters build things. There's lots of different ways to be a carpenter, um, building houses and helping build, golly, there's so many different things that you can build. But a lot of math is used when you are a carpenter, when you do measurement. So a lot of measuring things to see how long they are, how short they are, some of those math things we were just doing. So this is a carpenter. Here's our next word for this week. This is, da, 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 does anyone know? I bet you some of you guys are saying a cooker, a cook. Well, that is one word. It is also a chef. So a chef is a person who puts food together and has lots of different recipes and makes things taste so yummy. And they actually went to school for a long time to learn about these recipes and learn about how different spices go together and how they taste. To, well together. So we always need good chefs in our world, that's for sure. Here is our next job. Now I'm gonna hold this one up and let you look for a minute. And it might just look like your mom working on the computer. <laughs> but this person is called an administrative assistant. Some other words that have been used for it is an office manager, a secretary, a personal assistant, Somebody who helps make a business run smooth. So in our school, Mrs. Brown up in the front office is our administrative assistant. She helps Mrs. Farewell and all the teachers at school to get things done. So lots of businesses will have administrative assistants helping them out. So those are some three different new vocabulary words that are going to be dealing with occupations. That's going to be our focus of what we're going to be looking at different occupations which is different jobs so we just learned about three different jobs a chef an administrative assistant like mrs brown and then also a carpenter um so there we go guys that was kind of fun now that is really kind of it for today. So Monday, because I went and delivered some things to some of you and I'm still delivering. I'm sorry, I got about six more of you I'm dropping some things off to. But for today, I just want you to get caught up on any other work that you might have not done yet and need to turn it in. I always want you to go read a book and look at the book and see if you can create your own kind of like thoughts and stories from it as well. And then also today, we're going to do one more thing. I forgot almost. I apologize. Miss Rash is still learning. Your job today is to learn how to draw a monkey. And I know all of you are going to be going, what? Miss Rash, what? So I'm going to do one with you. Now, first of all, I just want to show you 
we're going to be using a lot of paper sometimes when we're at school. I'm using recycled paper right now. This is an old piece of paper. I'm turning it over. I'm going to draw on this side because it's nice and clean. I'm going to use it. So mine is going to go this way. And I'm going to show you how I will draw a monkey. So your job today will be to draw a monkey. And then I want you to cut him out. I want you to name your monkey and tell me what your monkey does. So here we go. I'm going to start with a circle. And this is going to be the bottom of the monkey, like his body. I'm filling it in. I'm going to go slow when I get to the edges. This rash has been coloring a little bit longer than you guys. So I feel like I can do it a little bit faster. I don't want you guys to go fast, okay? So here we go. This is our monkey. Body. There we go. Now I'm going to give him his head. Another circle. So I did a big circle and then a circle that's just a little bit smaller. Now remember, I've taught you guys how to do this at school. Go ahead and fill the whole thing in. And remember, if we use black or a darker color, we can get the eyeballs right there on top and be able to see them. Because we've talked about this at school before. It's called layering. So I'm going to give him his eyeballs. There's one. And there's two. If you can't see, don't worry. I'll bring it back. Mine's a girl monkey for you girls today, putting on some eyelashes. And I'm also going to give him a little smiley face. And let go. And, okay, so now I have the body, circle in a circle, right? So when you're doing the tail of a monkey, it's easy. They have really long tails, right? So I'm coming down here. I'm just going to do a really long line out. But if I want it to be poofy or kind of thicker, I'm just going to do another line just like that right on top. Not too big. And there I go. I got a little tail. Now for my arms and feet today, I'm just using smaller circles here. And this arm is going to go out like this and out like this. And the reason why... For Mr. Oh wait, he need a little bit of ears. There we go. Now my monkey's gonna look like a monkey because right now, I gotta be honest, Miss Rash doesn't draw so great. I almost think he looks a little bit like a hamster. But I'm making him look like a monkey because watch. The monkeys love to eat bananas. So here we go. My guy has two bananas. Now, I feel like I'm done. You can make more than one monkey. There's Miss Rash's monkey. So now my next job will be to cut him out. I'm gonna go get my scissors. I'm gonna cut him out. I'm gonna give him a name. And then you can show him around your house. Give him something to do for a little while. So there you go. We are gonna be working on a lot of journal writing. Um, so journal writing, need drawings that go with it and I know you guys sometimes get nervous with drawings don't worry if we ever do something like that I will be here with you and I will help you out so that's going to really conclude our day today we're not really working hard it was a PE day so I hope you all got outside it was sunny out so I'm sure you did um and always do your best oh my goodness how could I forget your homework so tonight, this is your big homework. I want you to make a card, a kindness card or someone for someone you don't know, like a mailman or maybe your garbage person or we're not really going anywhere. So it'd have to be put like on your neighbor's mailbox, something where you can surprise someone with a happy picture and a happy note. And here's what I want you to do. Get a piece of paper from anyone. Your parents should have one for you. You can make any type of picture you want. I just want you to put in there um, something, some good words. You could say, have a good day. You could just do a smiley face because everyone knows a smiley face means happiness. Um, you can write be happy, you can write the word love, you can write the word kind. You're going to need a little help from your parents. 
And even if you don't even get any words on there, you just have a very happy picture that might have like flowers or rainbows or, or a happy smiley face, um, a sun with sunglasses and a smile. I don't know. You get to decide. But I, I want you to make one card and I want you to give it to somebody. Again, parents are going to have to help. Maybe you'll put it on your mailbox for your mailman. Maybe your garbage man, maybe a neighbor, maybe you're going to mail it to somebody you don't know or your parent's friend or something. I'm not sure, but we're going to try to be kindness ninjas. And so for religion this week, uh, for today, excuse me, not this week, today, because we did have religion today, I would like you to make a card and surprise somebody with it. So there we go. That is class for today. Again, um, I miss you guys so, so, so much. Go do your best, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.